You know, a lot of people are confused about what a Rasta really is and have a very negative image of the Rasta. Tell us what a Rasta is. See, Christ promised that he will return within 2,000 years, you know, mm. and he said, when he come, he will be the king of kings, the lord of lords, the conqueror of the land of Judah, through the lineage of King Solomon and King David. Now, my life have great meaning to me, so I really search to find out if God is here. When I search, I look, I look in Ethiopia, I look all about, look in Germany, you know, because men are prejudiced. We look for God. We look in Ethiopia, I see one man stand up with these names, Emperor I last year, name King of Kings, Lord of Lords, conquering land of Judah, through the lineage of King Solomon and King David, written in the Bible. Uh, one of my things is that um, the Bible, let me say that King James edit the Bible. Now, my understanding is that if King James edited the Bible, I don't think he would edit it for the benefit of black people. So when the revelation turned out that Isla Selassie is the king of kings and the lord of lords, coming straight through the lineage of King Solomon and King David, then, you know, we really know that this is a Christ's return. Because we know in this world, yeah, when the white man, when the white man edited it, he wouldn't edit it in our behalf, you know? He would have more edited to make it look like England going to be the, the big, big thing. But in the last days, they'll prove out that is the is Ethiopia, Isla Selassie, you know? And Isla Selassie's name is Rasta. So we are called Rasta, you know, called by his name. Uh -huh. And then, it's a lot of things. We go as far as saying, him say, when I'm return and you call upon him, now this is God, him say, when I'm return and you call upon him, your mother and your father will forsake you. Now, we know that if you call upon the Catholics, you, you, they embrace you. You call upon the Church of God, they embrace you. Any religion you call upon, you might get embraced. The only religion they push you off from is, is Rasta. But that does make the truth more, more real because I'm saying, when you call upon my name, your mother and your father will forsake you. And that is why today you hear Rasta gets so much bad name. It's not because Rasta do anything bad, but it's because all the prophecy go with it. When you, if, if your mother and your father will forsake you, just imagine people who don't even know you, you know what I mean? Well, in most religions, uh, you go to church on Sunday, and you may go to a Bible class once or twice during the week, True. and that's it. Yeah. Is it pretty much basically the same in Rasta, or is it more involved? No, we say no. We say that the man is a church. Uh, the Bible is there. But what we find out now is that a lot of people read the Bible, but they don't understand the Bible because the approach to the Bible is wrong. I mean, there's no way you can read a book. You just take up a book and just read it in the middle and figure you can find out what was happening from the beginning to the middle. The, the, the Bible is a whole book with a, with a whole tradition in it. And from them read to Genesis to Revelation, the whole truth of the whole straight road with the overstanding is there. You know, so it's not a several then we just go um, go church and do like the other Christian. We know that the man is a church, you know. Because see, you just can't overthrow the truth. You know, we, our people, have our roots. When we search for it, we find it in a Rasta. Because we don't see there's no other way. We don't see no other way. It's Rasta we find the roots, you know. You mean we don't like establishments? Well, yes. Everything. You see, the music say death to black and white oppressors, to all oppressors. You know, we are dealing with human beings. We are dealing with the purpose why God created man in the first place. And no man should live. And we, these people, want to live like how God said man should live. And through reggae music, we convey our message because. It's a lot of people not living that way. That, that them don't want to live that way, but they were forced to live that way. So the music come to change, you know. The music come to change the whole idea. I don't know how long it's going to take, but as it's going to happen. All music is root music that come from Jamaica, you know, that sense of creativeness.
seen, once it creates as root music, if it's a father thing, then it's not roots. We are dealing with the creativeness, the creative power, you know? I know that you get rock as reggae, rock steady, every music, but a creativity, which is roots. Well, reggae music is a music created by Rasta people, and it carry earth force for people rhythm, and people, you know, it's a rhythm where people working, people moving, you know. Well, we play music, you know, and we don't play for suit critics. We play what we want to play, when we want to play, how we want to play. Mm -hmm. And we have a reason why we play it too. You know? Yes, it is necessary to understand the lyrics. You know? They have meaning too. Mm -hmm. You know? But it's because